I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Cavaliers vs. Magic My team pick is Orlando minus 2 points the Orlando defense appears to have figured out Cleveland as they have held them to under 100 in every contest thus far. On top of that, the Magic have cleaned things up around the glass and the offense has been taking care of the basketball. Cleveland proved to be more careless with the basketball and if they are unable to pick it up on the glass, it could be another long four quarters. My total pick is under 201.5 points. Totals over 200 continue to be a sell for me as neither of these teams play fast and pride themselves on their defense. The Magic do the bulk of their work inside and are selective when it comes to outside shooting. Neither of these offenses has been particularly strong on the offensive glass and frankly, neither team has demonstrated they can shoot lights out either. Look for this to be another rock fight. Thunder vs. Pelicans My team pick is Pelicans plus 1.5 points. The Pelicans return home looking to get back into this series. They will not have the services of Williamson, but they have enough scoring to get a win in Game 3. Ingram will need to shoot the ball more frequently in Game 3 and be less of a distributor for the Pelicans. He is their most viable one-on-one -on -one player and needs to get a minimum of 15 shots up to help his team without Williamson available. The Thunder look tight in Game 1 at home in their first playoff game of the season, and I expect them to be a bit tight here as well in their first road game of these playoffs. The Pelicans need to display the dominance on the glass that they showed in Game 1, which I think they will against an undersized Thunder team. They also will need to shoot the ball better in Game 3. At home this season, the Pelicans shot 48%, which is significantly up from their shooting overall in the series. They shot 37% from three-point range at home this year as well. The Pelicans will close the gap in three-point field goals made per game back at home and will dominate the glass in game three to pick up the win here. My total pick is over 209.5 points. Expect the Pelicans to put up their highest scoring output of the series in game three at home. They have shot the ball significantly better at home this season and will break out of a funk that has seen them shoot just 41% overall in the first two games at OKC. New Orleans averaged nearly 115 points per game at home this season. OKC was third in the NBA in scoring this season and after scoring just 94 points in Game 1, exploded for 124 points in Game 2. On the road this season, the Thunder were fourth in the NBA averaging over 117 points per game. This game should soar past the total with both teams getting more comfortable by Game 3 of the series. Celtics vs. Heat My team pick is Celtics minus 9 points Wednesday's 111-101 home loss was the first vulnerability that we've seen from the Celtics in recent history. Boston put together a historically great regular season, and it seemed that they would at least cruise past a Jimmy Butler-less Miami team. Boston was an impressive 38-4 SU at home this season, so the loss pushed them to 38-5. However, the Seas are still a heavy favorite to win the Eastern Conference, minus 195, and they're also the betting favorites to win the NBA title, plus 130. Boston was a massive 14.5 point home favorite in game two, so they obviously failed to cover in the outright loss. The Celtics won the turnover battle, 13 to 14, but that was the extent of their statistical success. The Heat were better in field goal percentage, 49.3% to 46.3%, three-point shooting, 53.5% to 37.5%, and in rebounding, 40 to 39. Individually, Jalen Brown led the way with 33 points in the game two defeat. 
he's averaging 23.0 points per game this season. Jason Tatum has been the battery of the organization this year, paving the way in both scoring, 26.9 PPG, and rebounding, 8.1 RPG. Derek White runs things up top, and he's adding 15.2 points per contest while dishing out a team-leading 5.2 assists per night. I don't want to completely discredit Miami's 10-point victory in Game 2 because a win's a win, but I'm also not going to pretend that the Heat are now going to make a series of this. I'll take this as a buy-low moment on the Celtics and lock them in at minus 9.0. This will be the sixth meeting between these teams this year, and Boston is 4-1 SU, posting an average margin of victory of plus 11.0 points over the five-game sample size. The Heat have a clear edge in coaching, and I take Bam Adebayo over Chris Tapps Porzingis, but those are the only areas where Miami is better than Boston. The top-end talent, especially with Jimmy Butler sidelined, heavily favors the Celtics in this series. I expect Boston to come out on fire in Game 3, where they'll cruise to a double-digit victory. Let's buy back in on the Celtics while they're laying under 10.0 points. My total pick is... Over 202.5 points. I've been covering this series from the jump, and we nailed the under in game one, 210.5, while also cashing the over, 205.5, in game two. For some reason, the market for game three lists a total lower than both, coming in at just 202.5 points. These are two top five defenses, but come on, we have to play the over at this deflated number. My argument for the over is simple. In five head-to-head -head meetings this year, every game has exceeded 202.5 points with an average of 223.8 points per game. Boston brings in the top-ranked offense in terms of efficiency, where they scored 120.2 points per 100 possessions in the regular season. As for raw points, the Celtics averaged 120.6 points per contest, and only the Pacers, 123.3 PPG, were better. Boston's notorious for having games where they score into the 120s and 130s, and while they probably won't break into the 130s, they should do enough to guide this game over the total. Give me the over. Nuggets vs. Lakers. My team pick is... Nuggets minus 3.5 points. The LA Lakers once again jumped on the Nuggets early and had all the momentum in the first half. The Nuggets never panicked and continued to cut the lead down. In the third quarter, Denver took the life out of Crypto.com Arena by outscoring the Lakers 34-22. The Lakers showed zero fight in the second half and they allowed the Nuggets to dominate the glass and get a ton of second chance points. The Lakers got another great performance from the duo of James and Davis. Austin Reeves finally found an offensive rhythm, but Rui Hakimura continued to struggle and D'Angelo Russell played the same way he did in Game 1. The Lakers look deflated and they are still searching for answers on how to beat this team. The Nuggets have yet to put together a solid first-half performance and yet they have a 3-0 series lead. I expect the Lakers to come out with more fight like they did last year in the Western Conference Finals, but Denver will close out this series on Saturday night and cover the spread. My total pick is under 216.5 points. All three games have hit the under and that has been due to the slow pace of each team and the inconsistent three-point shooting. Both teams made just five three-pointers in Game 3. The Nuggets have not put together a good first-half performance and the Lakers' offense has been extremely inefficient. James and Davis have played very well in this series, but their teammates have not been much help in this series and have seemingly lost confidence. With the Nuggets' slow starts and the Lakers' lack of offensive efficiency and reliable scoring weapons, Game 4 will follow the trend and hit the under.